Hello, I'm Dr. Lewis Knight, Professor and Program Coordinator of SWU's Media Communication Program. This short video presentation is intended to help you record your speech with some ease and quality. There are 10 points I'd like to make in this effort. We'll go back and forth between the list and then the details, all having to do with framing your shot, recording clean audio, and being well lit. But first, if you're using a smartphone, you'll need to be sure to shoot in landscape, not portrait. This is not Instagram or TikTok, so please orient your phone properly for the speech. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we want to discuss is the various equipment options you'll hopefully have access to and how to best use each of these choices. On the upper left side of the frame is a DSLR camera. It's what I currently use. The top center is a video camcorder, which I used to use. Upper right is a smartphone, which we all use. Lower left is a camera mounted microphone, which I highly recommend for use with the DSLR or camcorder for best quality audio. On the lower right are AirPods, which I recommend for use with your smartphone. I also recommend the LED light bottom center for good lighting. If you look around, you can find the mic, the AirPods, and the light all for under $30. The light I've found for as low as $12. Tripods or other stabilizing gear is also essential for quality video recording. There are inexpensive options here too. The most important thing to know about using any of the three recording options is to read the user manuals and know how to get maximum quality from whichever choice you make for your recording acquisition. When getting ready to record your speech, turn on all the lights you can. If you don't have a camera light or some other photographic light, make sure the room you're in has good lighting. Where you place yourself or the lights is also important. You don't want bright lights directly above, below, or behind you, or windows behind you. Good lighting will be slightly above and in front of you, preferably about 45 degrees vertically and horizontally. You can see the charts here that I have for 1.2.3 .2 point lighting. Now, this is a speech, so we have to hear you, and we might have to make some compromises in this regard. If you don't have a good mic or AirPods, you might have to get a little closer to your recording device. It is also a good idea to find a place that is quiet from outside or distracting noise. Now on to framing your shot. In filmmaking and videography, we use a practice known as the rule of thirds. Here's how it works. We use a tic-tac-toe kind of grid for our frame and for your purpose we'll show it with a single person in the shot. We want to fill the frame where it always looks like you are looking into the shot and not outside of the shot. We do this by having you slightly to one side or the other and looking into the lens. We also don't want to see the ceiling of your room. We'd rather see more of you. And we call this tight headroom. We don't want you at the bottom of the frame. We want you at the top. Another important aspect to consider is that computer screens and TVs are two dimensional. So you want to have some depth in your frame. You don't want to be flat up against a flat wall, or it might look like you're in a police station mug shot. Show a little bit of where you are. We also don't want to use any of your recording devices, digital zooms or effects. Only zoom in with your feet or with glass. In essence, I'm saying get the camera closer to you, or if you're using a DSLR or a camcorder, you can zoom in with the glass, but don't, don't do any color correction or zooming in with, the, with your iPhone or your smartphone uh, because that's a digital zoom and it really looks bad. We also don't want to be distracted by shaky camera movement. Don't have anyone hand hold the camera. Make sure it is framed well and then stabilized. This is where the tripods really are important. Two final guidelines. One, have one of your audience members monitor your recording device to make sure it stays recording and the audio and video sound and look good. Finally, before you try to record your final version of your speech, practice, practice, practice. Thank you for watching.